Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. I hope you guys miss me because I've definitely missed you guys. So welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. So I want to come on here and talk about all of this mess, honey, that's going on. I know a lot of folks have asked me to do an update on the whole T.I. and Tiny situation, but I wanted to wait until, you know, new things develop before I did any type of update. But trust and believe I've been keeping up with the story. So if you guys do not know, OK, yesterday broke on social media. It seems like the girls are fighting in my Azealia Banks voice, honey. This is Ilya, let them know. So if you guys have not heard yet, Tiny unfollowed Shekinah Joe and Shekinah Joe in return unfollowed Tiny. So they are no longer following each other on social media. And you guys know in this world of social media, unfollowing each other is a big damn deal, okay? Now, a lot of things have transpired and I've been keeping up with the story. Um, if, as you guys all know, T.I. and Tiny were accused of basically, you know, a bunch of sexual assault claims against them by now it's up to like a dozen women. And the lawyer that is representing a lot of these accusers, his name is Tyrone Blackburn. And so he's been keeping his foot on T.I. and Tiny's neck. And of course, T.I. and Tiny are denying the allegations through their own attorney. But this entire situation is crazy. And folks wanted a slight breakdown on what happened because, again, they were really good friends. Shekinah was out here defending them. And it seems like they're just tired of it. So from what I gathered is that back on the 13th of April, Shekinah did a live stream. And in that live stream, she was basically, you know, crying and admitting to being sued by Sabrina Peterson and how she just regrets basically speaking up and getting herself involved in T.I. and Tiny's situation because now she's been drug into this. It's affecting her business. People are accusing her of being a recruiter. On top of that, she's having to pay all of these legal fees and, you know, T.I. and Tiny, they may have it, but I don't think Shekinah has it like that, where she has money to waste on legal fees. So it's really hurting and bothering her. So she ended up breaking down crying on her live stream. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Being Sue, had to pay legal fees and stuff. I've learned my lesson, okay? Stay nothing to do with you. I am a comatologist. I do have, let me see. Sit. I got nothing to say. I had to pay my own lawyer fees. I had to pay my own lawyer fees. No, I, I'm paying my own lawyer fees by myself. That's it. And that's just what it is. I learned the biggest lesson. Shut the fuck up. Stay out for business. Because ain't nobody going to be here. Ain't nobody going to save you but God. Ain't nobody coming for your rescue but God. Nobody ain't gonna even speak up for you, but God. So I'm out of this shit. I'm been, I'm, 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 I'm out of. It done broke me down enough. I've been stressed out. I've been depressed, and I'm done. I done had to come out money to pay for a lawyer. I'm paying it. I'm done. I learned my lesson. Stay out for business. Uh, my own business. Stop trying to be a captain. Save it, ho. And stay in your life. Because that shit done caused me a lot. Yes, it did. Caused me a lot. But it's hot. Right. But I don't want to keep talking about that shit. Because y'all need to leave me alone with that shit. Because I don't do none of that type of shit. Y'all just need to leave me alone. I just was trying to be a good friend. Taking up. Got myself and shit I had no been doing. And I really wish y'all would leave me alone with that shit. Because that shit is nothing to play with. And I don't want to be attached to nothing. I'm my own individual. I do not want to be a test that shit. That's not me. That ain't my life. But if it, you know, I don't know. But I'm just telling y'all, like, leave me alone. Leave me alone with that shit. I don't learn my lesson. Leave me alone with that shit. I don't fuck with. I don't just leave me alone with that shit. I don't need to use nobody for likeness. Okay. I don't want to use nobody else's name for likeness. I just want my own likeness. I'm not trying to 
ride nobody coattail. I'm not trying to do any of that. But I really wish you fans and you people of the world would stop coming to my life, aggravate me when I'm trying to have a good day. I want y'all to go on, on, on. Enough is enough. Y'all can take me back down to my 500 people. I will be just fine because I love people, so I don't think I'm going to stay out the lives. I don't never think I'm going to stay out live. I think I'm always going to lie because I, I have the love for people. But will y'all please stop breaking this shit my way? Because this shit is not funny. It's not a joke. It's not a game. Stop coming my way with that shit. I don't even want to see that shit no more. Okay? I would really, really appreciate it. Because this shit is dragging me. Please, it's dragging me. It is dragging me. Please. Okay? This shit messing with my TV life. My love and hip-hop life. All that shit, can y'all please? Please. Okay? It's costing me a lot of money. Can y'all please leave me out that shit? Please. Please. I got in some shit I had no business speaking up on. It was not my place. I don't know. It's just what it is. But please. Please stop connecting me to that shit. Okay? And that's all I want y'all to stop doing. Just stop connecting me in the realm. Please. I don't want to be. I love everybody, but I don't want to be. I want to just be Shekinah Joe by herself. Like I told you, I'm being sued. I had to come up with lawyer fees, expensive ass fees, and I'm just tired. I just want to go live in my own little life, back to what I used to do before I even spoke out on anything. I just, please, please, please. I'm asking all y'all, please, find y'all something else to do. Go find you somebody else to play with because this shit gets serious. Please. I learned the biggest lesson. Please. Please. You can go tell that bitch I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I ain't speaking out of content about nobody else being in but I don't give a fuck about nobody being in boy. I don't care what nobody said. I don't give a fuck, but I learned my lesson, boy. I learned it. In my second time spending money, it's a bullshit. First time I had to buy my fucking name. First time I had to go buy my name. My name. I had to go buy it. Then my second time being bullied by some shit. You know what I'm saying? First, first. First time. First time. My name got bought because I went fight somebody else goddamn battle. I, my name got bought. That was the first time. That was years ago. Yeah, that was years ago. My name got bought. I had to spend $5,000 to buy my fucking name that's on my driver license. I had to spend $5,000. Didn't nobody give me shit. Didn't nobody help me. I was stressed the fuck out. I had to go to the court and fight about my name that my mama gave me from birth. I had to go and fight for Shakuna Joe, my name. I took losses. I, I mean, all kind of shit happened to me. Then I speak my opinion, and now I'm being sued again. Bitch, I ain't dry snitching on nobody. Fuck, nigga. Dry snitching on who? I can't dry snitch when I don't know shit. Fuck, nigga. Now I'm being sued. I can't do this. Same for me. I am a fucking crybaby. And your neck a crybaby, bitch. Can't even believe how the devil work. I was just on here praising God. It's all good, though. It's okay. I'm going to cry. I'm going to get through all this shit. I'm just letting you know at the end of the day, why not tell y'all this shit done did when it done did? And I just want to be left alone because y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm being sued by some bullshit. And I just had to come up with money out of my pocket to pay for that shit. And don't nobody know my financial situation, what I'm going through, none of this shit. So please stop playing.
All right, so you guys just saw what Shekinah had to say. She was really upset. But I, for one, am glad that she's finally waking up and listening to what I and so many people have been telling her, that she does not need to involve herself in every single situation concerning Tiny and T.I., no matter what it is. Even before this situation, she was always running to go defend them. But like I said, when she was getting clomped on social media and people were going in on her, I never hear Tiny and T.I. taking up for her. You know, and I think she's starting to realize it now that her getting involved was a mistake because she really looked at them as a friend. And as a friend, she was hurt to, to see her friends and the people that she thought that she knew be accused of something so heinous. So I get her wanting to defend her friends, but that wasn't the right time and place. I, I think it's a lot better and safer to defend them behind the scenes as opposed to running to social media and saying what she said because it made all of them look really bad. So for y'all who forget the video that caused all of this drama, that caused Shekinah to get sued, go ahead and check this out. Attention. She wouldn't be even into it right now with Tia. She's looking fucking attention. A problem. She ain't talking about nothing about how she to make a tip. I said what I said. <laughs> why she ain't talking about how she done suck to see? They go ask her why she ain't told she been getting women And she women empowerment. Why she didn't tell y'all that she done had some of that? Why she didn't tell y'all? <laughs> she talking about all the rest of these folks running around here. Why she didn't tell y'all? She been. <laughs> and then I'm sad because Tamika, I guess time, I don't know. I ain't never time. I swear to God. Huh, huh, huh. I don't want to. I don't get involved. I don't know what they do in their lifetime. I'm not a part of it. But I know she done been. Huh? Ask the how tastes. Go ask her. She kind of said how She know how they taste too. Ask her how Tamika taste. Ask her do she want some more. Is that the problem? Well, after what was going on when she was in the threesomes and the foursomes, what happened with her? Huh? What about when she used to go get to recruit the whole for him? Where's she at in this? <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that video. So that video went viral. And because of that video and her putting out those accusations, then she tried to walk it back and say that, well, it's something that she heard. But by then it was too late because Sabrina went to go sue her for defamation of character, along with the lawsuit that she's also filing against T.I. and Tiny. Well, now after that video of her crying on the 13th, then she goes back on camera again. She goes live and she starts going off because at this point she feels like she's getting picked on by a lot of people on the internet. She also had like a little drama with Jason Lee where they went back and forth on live. Um, but in this video, she's basically saying, y'all need to come out. If you claim that you have receipts of me recruiting people or, you know, having threesomes and stuff like that, y'all need to come out with it. You know what I'm saying? Because she's tired of the accusations. And so she goes on this whole tirade. She's going off and it's just not a good look. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch her address these sexual assault accusations that are levied against her and T.I. and Tiny. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.